All right, so here's the uh, workout of the week. We have the standard 100, 200, 300 workout. This basically means we're going to get 100 pull-ups, 200 push-ups, 300 sit-ups. And these are just max rep sets on this one. So we max it out on the pull-ups. There you go. Get on up there. Nice. So usually these guys get uh, about 15 to 25 pulls, maybe even 30. Little kipping involved. Try not to kip so much. All right, here we go. Then once you get to the, uh, you finish, you got a bear crawl, or you can fire and carry your buddy. Looks like everybody's going to bear crawl. Now you got a choice. We only have four stations here, so we're going to split it up. Whatever you got on pull-ups, whatever you got on pull-ups, that's how many kettlebell swings you're doing, or looks like wood chopper squats as well. Now, taking a little break, you got a one-minute set of push-ups. One-minute set of push-ups while you're waiting on the kettlebells. You can do either one first, doesn't matter. So you have kettlebell swings or the one-minute set of push-ups. There you go. Use your legs on those kettlebell swings. There you go. All the way up, all the way down on those push-ups. Make them good. Make them count. PFT count. There you go. Good kettlebell swings. All right. So after this, what they're going to do after one minute or maybe 50, 60 push-ups, right, they are going to run couple hundred yards come back and do a minute worth of uh, sit-ups and also whatever they got on pull-ups that's how many kettlebell swings they are doing and they do that twice so at the end of this workout you do a hundred pull-ups 200 push-ups 200 kettlebell swings and 300 sit-ups in every set, you got to do this run. It looks like they're running, going to hit a run at about 200 yards. Keep going! All the way down! All the way down! To where the soccer thing is. There you go. Try to shorten my run. All right. Good push ups. All right, so they're running about 100 yards down, 100 yards back. When they get back, they're going to do the same thing. They're going to do kettlebell swings, as many numbers as they did on their pull-ups. But instead of push-ups for a minute, they're going to do sit-ups for a minute. And you keep track of all your numbers. So by the time you're done, once again, you get 100 pull-ups, 200 push-ups, 200 kettlebell swings, and 300 sit-ups. And that's it. There you go. Another easy day.